Hi, I am Ruth. My story is kind of sad because it's about my parents' recent divorce. It's still a bit hard for me to speak about, but I think it is important to share my story and maybe help some of you to come out of a situation like that. First, a bit of background. My parents are married for 20 years, and in my eyes, they've always been an ideal couple. They were pretty different, but I thought it was that classic case when two people complete each other, just like two puzzle pieces. He is a big man, quiet man, always with a kind smile for anyone. My mom is the exact opposite, a firework of a person. She is always talking, doing something, laughing noisily, and making scandals with anyone. What do they have in common? Me. I'm a single child, and they both adore me. I love them both, but I've always been a mother's baby. I never had a problem to answer that stupid question they always ask kids. Whom do you love more? Mom was always the answer. Sometime after my 15th birthday, my parents called me for a talk. I hate that we need to talk stuff. So I got pretty nervous at once. My bad premonitions were correct. As I heard that phrase, every child dreads. We decided that we need to divorce. You are a grown up and hope you understand us. Well, I acted very understanding and I didn't even ask a thing, but one thing was bothering me. How come didn't I notice they were not getting along anymore? Can it be that I was living in a world of rainbows and unicorns? While such a huge crack in my family was growing, all of a sudden, our life became a real hell. They started the process like two civilized people and kept it up like that dividing assets until it came to their common, most precious thing, which is me. Each of them wanted to make me live with him and was ready to stand their ground. Mom, dad, I'm still an alive person, not a thing. Maybe you will ask me. Finally, it was decided that as far as I am nearly a grown up, I'm supposed to make a choice on my own and communicate it in court. Wow, I knew I would need to grow up one day, but didn't expect to do it so soon. We were still living all three together, but this was not our nice cozy home anymore. I noticed one thing that was worrying me a lot. My mom tried to win my affection in any possible way. She started buying me expensive stuff. She took me out to enjoy ourselves in spa and restaurants. And all in all, she started acting more like my best friend than like my mother. It was nice, but didn't give me a good feeling. The worst was that when we were alone, she always tried to convince me that my dad was a weak person or he was too busy to give me attention and other not very nice things. My dad in all this, he was acting like he already lost, was there sad, eating his dinners all alone and looking at me like a kicked dog. Right before the court, I accidentally overheard something super painful. Mom and dad were having a private talk when she said, if you claim that you don't have possible ways to take care of Ruth, I will let you see her freely anytime. Otherwise, I will accuse you to be violent and will do anything to limit your parent time. Do as I say, because you know that anyway, she'll choose me. It was like I was hit by lightning. My eyes opened at once on how manipulative my mom was all the time. And this blackmailing was horrible. I heard dad giving up to her just to have the possibility to see me. I was overwhelmed and made my decision. Next day to everyone's shock, I said that I wanted to remain with my dad. My mom looked like slapped in the face and my dad burst into tears right there in front of everyone. After I remained to live with my dad and mom left, I had a very bitter feeling. With our friendship finished, she called me from time to time just to tell me what an ungrateful traitor I was. I didn't know what to answer her. After all, she's my mom and I love her. I still didn't think I had done anything wrong though. At the same time, my dad was absolutely happy, always caring, always asking for my opinions and giving me nice treats. I got lots of freedom that was really handy for a 15 year old girl. But once I tried to abuse that freedom, I wanted to go overnight to a music festival and my dad this time was firm to say that he wouldn't let me go. 
I was too young. I cried and yelled, but he said it wasn't something I could negotiate. Despite to go, I suddenly shouted at him, you know what, if you don't let me go, I will call mom and ask her to let me live with her. That kicked dog expression came back at once on my dad's face. He just said, okay, do whatever you like, and left my room silently. I stood there, unable to believe how much I screwed up. I just blackmailed my dad. I was so ashamed of myself. I realized how much of my mother's traits I had myself. The same traits of shameless manipulator I detested her for, but soon I also realized I can understand her a little bit more now. She manipulated me and blackmailed my dad because she was so desperate and she did it for something way more serious than my little teenage whims. This realization helped me learn to control myself a little bit better and soon got me closer to my mom again. I understood she was not a villain, just used her own ways in a moment of desperation. So guys, maybe my story will help you to overcome the aftershock of your parents' divorce. Look into yourself and you'll find the traits that you have in common with your parents. Maybe after all, you will understand them better and live in peace with their situation and yourself. Please comment my story and share it with your friends. I hope so much that this way I will be able to help someone and thank you very much for watching.